Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Let's begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today is December 31st, the last day of the year. So we look um, back the whole year, and we thank God for all of his blessing and his care for us, even though we are living in the um, uh, chaos things and um, pandemic situations. But yet, Christ, God, is the author of all times, from an, uh, Alpha to Omega. God is the author of all times. And he is with us, and he's from the beginning until the end. God is always with us. So with that great um, gratitude to God, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the intentions for today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Bartolo Tavares, Andriano Gallilao, all the unborn babies, all the souls in purgatory, the intentions of Adam Lee, the intentions of Leonardo and Maria Rego, the intentions of the Flores family. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and the fulfillment of all religion. Grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now and many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, 
and you all have knowledge. I write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that in them, that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exalt before the Lord. Let the heavens, heavens be, be glad, glad and, and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let, Let the, the heavens, heavens be, be glad, glad and, and the earth, earth rejoice. rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. You, In the beginning was the word and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to Him. All things came to be through Him, and without Him, nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did not accept him, to those, but to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decisions, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me runs ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the, world, while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as, uh, today is the last day of uh, the year 2020. And um, in this last day, um, 
the church offers, the church wants to turn our uh, attention to the very first chapter of John's gospel that Jesus is the word of God that existed from the beginning with God and his God. And yet, the end of this year, and we listen to something from the beginning, which is Jesus Christ, God himself. So we know that God is the author of all times, from Alpha to Omega. And we do know that little by little, we as children of God understand more the identity of who Jesus really is through his ministry, through his teaching. So we, we know that Jesus, when he was working on the earth, so he had the power to forgive sins. He healed the sick. He raised the dead, cleansed the lepers, and he dried out demons. Those who got the oppression of the demons, he dried out all the demons. So, and he also called God the Father, that the term the children call our parents father and mother. So Jesus called God the Father. And here, he revealed to us the living God, merciful God, loving God, who exists and who is invisible, but only through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah, revealed to us so that we know, we know that God the Father loves us. And we know that Jesus was with the Father since the beginning. And we know for sure, as he affirmed us, that he will be with us until the end of time. So how great it is. How blessed we are. And this year, as we look back, as we see there's so many um, chaos, dramas, tough year you can call, but all of that, all of that happened as we believe that God is, we believe in the God's providence. Everything happened. Even the hair of your head fall down is not our God's intention. So we don't know what it will bring, but we know for sure that God brings the good out of the bad. Today is the last day of the year. We're still living. We still um, have faith in God, and we take this chance to thank God as we look forward to the new year with hope, as Jesus brings hope into the world, bring peace into the world. So we are God's children. We have firm faith in Him, and we thank Him for all the blessing that He has granted us upon mankind. May God bless each of us. Amen. The response for us is, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Humbly yet confidently, let us invoke Christ the Lord, whose favor has been showed to all people. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, born of the Father before all ages, splendor of his glory, image of his being, your word holds all creation in being. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We ask you to give new life to our world through your gospel. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, you were born into the world at the fullness of time to save mankind and to give freedom to every creature. We ask you to extend the liberty of our sonship to all the people. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, consubstantial Son of the Father, begotten before the dawn of the day, and born in Bethlehem in the fulfillment of the scriptures, we ask you to make your church a notable example of poverty and simplicity. Lord have mercy. Christ, God and man, 
Lord of David and Son of David, fulfillment of all the prophecies, we pray that Israel may recognize you as its Messiah. Lord, have mercy. And we pray for all the souls that we offer Mass today. Lord, have mercy. And in a moment of silence, let us uh, offer our own intentions and let's, let's give thanks to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Ever living God, in the birth of your Son, our religion has its origins and its perfect fulfillment. Help us to share in the life of Christ, for he is the salvation of mankind, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed Let be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Put up the vine and work up in hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mysteries we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the Holy Exchange has restored our life has shone forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word not only does human mortality receive unending honor but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts host, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered, we will renew his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring hell to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Marion Cara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. But, O oh Lord, the Barrett, Adriano Galilao, all the unborn babies, all the souls in purgatory. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may manage to be called as your eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Poor Father, who Lord art in Lord heaven, Lord hallowed Lord be Lord thy Lord name. Lord. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from the chest, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you at this moment sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your people, O oh Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defends us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness of the snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, so Prince of the Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Tomorrow is the first of January, the 2021. We, that's the Mass of Mary, Mother of God. We have uh, the 8 a.m. Mass, 10 a.m. Mass, and the 12 p.m. Mass. So the 8 a.m. Mass is right here, English, and uh, 10 a.m. is also here, English, and the 12 is Spanish. So we have three Mass tomorrow, 8, 10, English, and the 12 is in Spanish. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day to all of you. And if I don't see you, um, happy new year for tomorrow. God bless you. Too, Father.